Yeah, this is me in my little setup. I wasn't hiding in the bushes um, behind me. Um, I'm coming to you from Market Street, St Andrews, um, our little pop-up shop we had at, at Christmas. So excuse me if there's a little bit of background noise. The students are particularly noisy tonight. Um, so they've been running up and down the street. Uh, thanks for having me uh, on tonight. Uh, thanks again uh, to Justine and Karen for putting this together. As a Cooper resident, I know how much good work uh, Age Concern Cooper do uh, in the town. So it's great to be a part of something, able to raise uh, some pennies for them. Uh, so fantastic. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, Eden Mill, uh, we are situated on the banks of the Eden Estuary, uh, a few miles outside St Andrews, a little village, Guard Bridge. Now, we started in 2012 as a little microbrewery, uh, the brainchild of Paul Miller and his business partner, Tony Kelly. Started up a little brewery in 2012. Back then, we were known as Eden Brewery for the first couple of years. We were just making some local craft beer until 2014 when we installed our 1000 litre pot stills, small little poga stills that we started distilling on. We started laying down our first casks in November 2014. Since then, we have tried to ensure to be quite experimental, quite forward thinking with trying different things. At Eden Mill, we've got a, a lot of different types of casks casks maturing, everything from virgin French oak, virgin American oak, um, our bourbon ASBs. We have our sherry casks maturing in all sorts of different sizes, our hogsheads and our octaves. And we've even got some rum casks and port casks maturing away. So if you've had a, a keen eye over the last few years, you may have seen some of these uh, little releases coming out as part of our hip clasp releases. Um, sorry. Coming a nice little, nice little box here. This can just so we see that as number sixteen uh, of the hip flash releases. So we we try and bring out these little single cast releases in smaller bottles. Try and share them with as many people as possible and showcase some of that experimental nature. Um, so the dram we've got tonight is actually our twenty twenty release. So this is our third annual release in 70CL bottles. Uh, we brought out our first bottling back in 2018 to much fanfare. Uh, the first 10 bottles got auctioned um, direct and bottle number one broke the world record for a new distillery's bottling. It's obviously been broken quite a few times since then, um, but uh, very exciting when we released our first bottling. Since then, we released an annual release in 2018 2019 and 2020. So this is our 2020 release. Now, if you've tried any of the previous ones, you'll notice that there's a, a distinct pattern evolving with Eden Mill single malt. Um, our kind of character that we're looking for is a sort of even split. It's all ha always has been an even split between our bourbon ASBs and sherry casks. So you see that little subtle sherry influence on this one. We, this year, we decided to actually up the percentage of our bourbon casks because we're at a point now that these bourbon casks are really marrying perfectly with our spirit and it's showcasing our character really well. So we actually increased, this one's about 75% bourbon ASBs and 25% sherry. Now the sherry is split between TX hogsheads and Oloroso octaves in there. So you still have a really nice sherry influence to it, uh, but the bourbon character really shines through that impact from the wood, the American oak there as well. Interestingly, lots of layers and complexity to this dram as well. We have experimented over the years with lots of different types of barley. Uh, so we have a uh, pale malt in this one, we have brown crystal malt, and we have chocolate malt, which the darker malts, I really think, comes through in the finish. You start to get a sort of roasted malt finish coming through to it. Um, quite a sort of shortbread maltiness to it as well. Nice little sweet influence. Um, I'm going to please Murray by mentioning Christmas cake straight off the bat. Um, yes, definitely that sherry influence giving us sort of raisin and plum and 
sweet cinnamon in there as well. Uh, lots of really nice layers and complex flavor flavors going on uh, in this in this whiskey as well. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. Slange, I'll have a little mouthful. Yeah, so I really love that sort of warming spice mixed really well with uh, all those stone fruits and apricots and dates in there. Lovely one. So while you're drinking over that, I want to take a minute just to tell you a little bit about what Eden Miller are doing right now, because we ceased production on those whiskey stills in 2018. We are currently underway of building a brand new distillery on the banks uh, of the Eden Estuary. So we've moved about 200 feet from where we were distilling originally there. Um, and we are going to be building our brand new distillery. So if anyone that got the chance to visit us before, uh, we're going to be increasing quite a bit by size. And always a, a big thing that Eden Mills always been proud of is the, the different aspect of St. Andrew's tourism that we provided. We were listed as the number one thing to do in Fife uh, for a while and TripAdvisor, quite an accolade to have. Um, so very busy visitor centre we had in the year before we closed in 2018. We were seeing between 12 and 15,000 visitors through our door uh, in that year. So and we only had one toilet. I say it's the most used toilet seat in Fife. So, uh, so yeah, really a uh, nice one. Um, and so that's a big part of why we wanted to increase, but also to increase our capacity for production as well. So going into our new distillery, which is going to be in the old pulp sheds of the old paper mill, right down at the banks of the estuary next to the new biomass plant that's there. So a uh, very energy conscious neighbours we're going to have, which uh, is going to help us a lot, which I'll go on to in a second. But our new distillery is hopeful to be in production by spring 2022. We're going to have a two-ton mash kit, uh, six 10,000 litre wash backs, uh, a 10,000 litre wash still and a seven and a half thousand litre spirit still. So as opposed to those 1,000 litre pot stills we were using in the old site, uh, you can see that we're going to massively increase production. Brand new visitor centre uh, that we're going to have there. Uh, so a whole new visitor experience we're going to be able to bring to the people of Fife and further a field as well. Um, and with that, we'll be launching a brand new private cast program, um, which you'll be hearing a lot about in the near future, as well as we start to start to get underway with that and inviting people to join us on this on this journey uh, that we're on. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed your dram. Uh, any questions? Fire away. Oh, thanks, Ewan. We've got some great tasting notes here. Uh, yeah. uh, Gary has said quite grassy. Uh, with tea leaves on the nose. Um, it was actually quite a surprise when I nosed it. I don't know why, I just wasn't expecting it to be like that, and I agree. Um, Jean and Eddie have said a uh, chamomile tea, and I actually have some chamomile tea here. <laughs> I've done a wee uh, comparison, and yes, they're definitely, I agree, definitely notes of chamomile tea there. Um, honeysuckle and buttercups. I'm sure that must be a song. It smells like a margarita, says Scotch the Explorer. Um, <laughs> And then we've got cloves, ginger, and Irish tea loaf on the palate. So, um, yeah, so there's definitely um, that sort of tea element, I think, that's that's running through people's tasting notes. Um, Heather has said, didn't catch the first malt. Um, so uh, three different malt varieties in this dram. So we've got our pale malt, uh, which is the majority of it, but there's a small amount of brown crystal malt in there uh, and chocolate malt as well. So. So a variety of darker malts, which we think adds a little bit more complexity to the spirit as well. Fantastic. And so um, I might have missed this. You might have said this. Uh, what's the time scale for the distillery build? So we're, we're hoping for spring 2022. We've been met with, as you're probably aware, met with massive delays uh, over the years since we moved out. The original building where we're going to move into fell through. Um, not physically, just uh, <laughs> it fell through. Um, and obviously, St Andrews University owned the whole site. So uh, working with them can be sometimes a bit slow progress as well to get things moving as they've had to complete the first phase of their development before we can start looking at the second phase uh, development as well. So 
Um, yeah, we've moved uh, site a few times. Um, I've, I've been all around uh, St Andrews and the surrounding areas with different pop-up shops and little pop-up tasting rooms and things like that. Um, and and yeah, so this is finally uh, sort of coming, seems to be all coming together. Um, and yeah, we are hopeful that it will be operational by spring 2022. Um, up until a few months ago, Paul was saying March 2022, and now it's turned into spring. So uh, fingers crossed <laughs> that, it, that, it all, that it all starts to come together. So, so yeah, quite exciting. Yeah, that will be great. That will be fantastic. Um, has anybody got any questions for Ewan um, or any comments that they'd like to make about this dram? Um, I think um, some people have asked the strength, and this is uh, 46%. 46.5, yeah. We actually released this. So this is a limited release of only 800 bottles, um, the bottle strength one. We also released 200 bottles at cash strength, um, which I believe was 60.5. Um, that has now sold out, but I believe there's still some bottles that left of the bottle strength uh, version on our website. So. Mm -hmm. And Heather's pointed out it's a very unique flavour profile, and I, I agree, it's very, very different when you look at it and when you know that it's got that, that very sort of herbal tea note, um, for sure. Um, yeah, something we've heard, heard a lot, actually, especially since launching this one, not something that we kind of noticed or was picked up on in previous releases. Uh, it's definitely got uh, a very floral uh, aroma to it, and so a lot of floral undertones, herbal undertones as well, um, which we've we've been super impressed by, yeah. Fantastic. Um, are you able to, to stay with us to the end? Yes, I will be. I'll be, uh, I'll be hanging around, um, slowly uh, sipping uh, a couple of drams in the background. So, um, so yeah, I'm here. If anyone's got any questions, wants to ask me anything towards the end of the night, I'll be here. Sure. Just come on, you're at the pub, Ewan. You look like you're at the pub anyway. Well, I wish I could nip over to the Keys, to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, not just yet, not just yet. So no, I'll be hanging around in my little bar area. Don't worry. <laughs> it doesn't look very pub like. Uh, I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, Ewan. Cheers.